Guys, in today's video, I'll be reading chapter 4 of, the, of Dragon Masters Guarding the Invisible Dragons by Tracy West, illustrated by Matt Loveridge. And make sure to subscribe and like, because I spent $10 on this book, and you guys can just read it for free by looking at the series. Okay. Chapter 4, The Dragon's Nest. Drake, wa Drake watched as the last fig disappeared. Then a loud burp came from the fig bowl. The air shimmered and a baby dragon appeared on top of the table. The dragon was about the size of a large dog. Her scales were a mix of shiny purple and green. The dragon sat up and rubbed her belly. Gotcha, a guard yelled. As he lunged for the baby dragon, don't scare her, Diego warned. The dragon jumped off the table and ran to the nearest corner, shaking. Val got up and slowly approached the, the dragon. Everyone else in the great hall got quiet. Val crouched down. It's okay, nobody's going to hurt you. We just want to help you. The dragon took a step towards Val. Then she scooted into Val's arms. Val giggled and patted the baby dragon. Everything gonna be all right. Diego stood up. Well done, Val, he said. Then he bowed. Then, then he bowed to Queen Sophia. Thank you for this wonderful feast, but I must see to the baby dragons. Shall we get out, get there magically? She asked, standing up. Yes, my queen. Diego replied, and took her hand. Meet us in the tower, Diego told others, and then poof! He and the queen, he and the queen, vanished in a sparkle of magic light. Then Wham transported Drake, Val, Colos, Val, and Lau, the baby, and the baby dragons. They landed on top of a wide round tower. A giant nest of straw had been built against one part of the wall. Three castle guards who were chasing after four more baby dragons who were running and tumbling all over the tower. When the dragons saw Worm and Lau, they ran to them, excited. Three of them climbed onto Worm's back. The fourth ran toward Valo, Lau, Lalo, but jumped away when the dra lightning dragon threw off a nervous spark. Diego made a high chirping sound noise that the baby dragons, including the one with the well, Val, all stopped what they were doing five head towards the wizard, their eyes wide. Diego chirped some more, and the five dragons stand on their hind legs and stared at him. That's amazing, Di Diego, and Drake said, it takes practice, Diego said. He chirped again, and f and the five baby dragons jumped to the nest. The Queen, Queen Sophia nodded. Well done, Diego, she said. Now, ha now can you find and can you and your helpers find their parents? Drake stepped forward. Your Majesty, I can ask Worm to help. He can try to communicate with the baby dragons. He said. Then let him try, the queen said. Drake gave Worm a command. Then he heard Worm's voice in his head. The baby dragons communicate with feelings. He said, they are confused and a little frightened and missing their parents. That is all I can sense. Drake told this news to the others. Drake, Diego frowned. I was afraid of that, he said. He snapped his fingers and a sack of books appeared. I have many books about dragons from this part of the world. Perhaps we can find a clue about behavior about the behavior of invisible dragons. Val looked in through the sack and pulled out a book called Rare Dragons of the Southern Lands. Val handed it to Diego. Look in chapter four. I remember reading about something about invisible dragons in here. Wow, Val, you've been studying more than I thought, Carlos said. Diego paged through the book. You're right, Val, here it is. 
He said, he went silently for a moment and then frowned. Oh dear, Diego said, the parents of these baby dragons would be in danger. Okay, bye. Okay, guys. Bye bye. And and if you want this book, it's it drag. It's called Dragon Masters Guarding the Invisible Dragons by Tracy West and illustrated by Matt Leverage. So bye guys. See you in the next one.